Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. We're back in the garage with Project Dale and today I'm putting into practice something I learned off of another YouTuber when it comes to welding. So stay tuned. So due to somebody being a little bit forgetful and not charging up the batteries on the GoPros, I'm stuck using the iPhone today. So I hope you guys will uh, follow along with me. Hopefully it's not too shaky. I do have my clip here for the tripod. Uh, we'll use it as best we can. So back to the issue at hand when it comes to welding is you remember back when I was trying to fill the gaps on some holes in some welding. Well, I've learned a trick from a fella that is going to help me learn how to A, fill holes in welding and B, fix the mistakes because that's about all I have is holes uh, in what I've done. So let's get everything set up. We've got to get this door taken back off the truck and then we'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the fellow that I'm referencing in this video is Greg from Greg's Garage. Now, Greg did a video entitled How to Butt Weld Sheet Metal with a MIG Welder. Now, Greg is using the exact same welder as I am, or at least very, very close to it. It's a Hobart handler, and mine's a 135, runs on 110. His runs on 110, I'm not exactly sure what his model is. At the end of the day, this is what we're trying to correct. In one of my previous videos, I was trying to show you guys how to fill this gap in here with a coat hanger. I did that, and it worked just fine. But as I got going, I found that I continually kept blowing through the metal here, which is a combination of the new metal and the old metal on the truck. What Greg's video teaches me, rather than try and do one big spot weld or a long series of welds, is to tack it on there just enough to lay some metal down. Wait a second. Tack it again. Wait a second tack it again, wait a second. And by doing that, you're building slowly a bridge to gap the hole that you're trying to fill. Also, you're not generating as much heat as you would if you were continually trying to just fill it in or go all the way around it. So I'm gonna get the welder set up. We're gonna try his method and see if this helps with the process. I've got a couple other small holes that I'm gonna try and fill in too. See how it goes. The other thing I learned is that I may have been holding this too far away from the metal. So we need to get a little bit closer. Let's try it. Well, it is building up, but it's starting to cover the gap. I like this process, and I'm going to have to use it more often, not just with filling in gaps, but when it comes to putting two pieces of metal together, is quick little bursts. And I know some of you guys have been saying that in the comments, but it's so tempting once you get a good weld going to keep it going. Anyways, let's carry on and see how we can fill this hole in. That looks like a big bubbled mess, but we'll grind it down, and if we have to come back to it again, we'll do it. I didn't have much to start with, but I do like the process of being able to just kind of fill it in and go around. I'm gonna go up here and try and finish up some of these ones as well. I'm liking it. So we'll get the grinder, we'll grind that down, see how much hole is left. We'll do the same thing down below. Okay, it's still not pretty, but the hole is filled in thanks to Greg's technique. And I also came up here and we're doing really well at getting those holes filled in up there. In this corner, I'm not really concerned simply because of the fact 
that you don't see anything in here. Will I know it's there? Sure, I will. But I'll be able to fill this in with some body fill, uh, smooth it out, and uh, make it look like brand new. Down here, I think we'll be able to accomplish the same thing. A little bit more work to do, but nevertheless, I think it looks probably 100% better, maybe 110% better than it did uh, before I started using Greg's technique. So if you guys don't know who Greg's Garage is, I'm gonna put a link right up here in the top corner so you guys can go check it out. It's a real popular video, and uh, I wanna thank Greg personally, and maybe he'll never hear this, but I wanna thank him personally for giving me those tips based on that video to help me succeed at welding. So thanks, Greg, and thank you to Grant Tommy, Straight Six Fan, who led me to your page. Let's get that ground down, see what it looks like. So folks, I know that I'm such a noob at this that I shouldn't be the one doing the teaching, but I was taught this and I wanna show you what I was taught and that it actually worked for me. So having said all of that, we're gonna move on to the next part of the project. It won't be in this video, it'll be in the next one, but I just felt like I needed to take a few minutes and sit down and show you guys and put into practice what I learned. And uh, I can't stress enough that Patience is a virtue when it comes to welding. So that's it. That's all that's gonna happen here on this episode. I thank everybody. I hope you had a great Christmas and I hope everyone was safe. Old Car Auto Guy merch is available in the first link in the description box below. I hope you guys can go over there, check it out, see if there's something that you like. That is going to be a goal of mine in 2020 is to create a brand, not just Old Car Auto Guy, but a brand of clothing that will appeal to everybody and not just car guys and not just guys that watch my channel. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be coming up in the very near future. As always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Guys, t-shirts and hoodies and all. Old Car Auto Guy merch is still available in the description box below. And Old Car Auto Guy merch is available in the first di... Di... What was I going to say? In the first di... But a bra... But a bra... Little, little, little. We're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance.